Hey guys, so I never thought I would be making this video, but I tried the whole vegan thing for a while, and at the start it was great. Uh, it was Get keeping me lean, I had good energy, but the past year, unfortunately, I've run into some problems. What sort of vegan diet were you eating, Natasha? Uh, I was eating a high carb, low fat diet. Yeah. So it was about 80, 10, 10, 80% 80 carbs. 10% fat, 10% protein. Wow, that's, that's a lot of carbs. And um, I, I, I ate rice most days. Yeah. Potatoes, pasta, fruit. Fruit? Sugar. Yeah. Like what sort of fruit? Like, uh, ho hopefully not too much sweet fruit. Uh, I had bananas, like mangoes. Bananas? Oh, wow. Everything. Jeez. Oranges, papaya. Yeah. So, yeah, the problem started this year. You went to a naturopath and they said you weren't getting enough protein. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, so I saw a couple of GPs and I spent a few grand at my local naturopath. And he offered a woo-woo radioactive test for me. I was like, yep. sure. Yeah. Put me up. And I, and I did that and the results came back that I was suffering from a protein deficiency. Mm. So that was really, really bad news. And um, he told me that I need to start eating some form of meat or I'm going to end up bedridden, really ill. And, Too skinny. And I may die. Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah, protein deficiency death happens all the time. So... Yeah, just you at the gym. You're trying to gain some weight. You're trying to, how, how, what you you about 55 kilos now? You're trying to get up to 90 kilos for the rugby team. Yeah, so I was hoping for 85 kilos. Um, I'm trying out for the nationals rugby team. Mm. And hearing that from the naturopath was the last thing in the world I was yeah. hoping for, considering my goals. Yeah, you're trying, so to, get, you're trying I, to gain 40 kilos. Yeah, I was going for a dirty bulk, and I was going for the rugby team, and I just felt, I yeah. felt hopeless, yeah. mm. and I, I just didn't know what to do. So. Oh, yeah. So, so I, I am back on the meat. Yeah? Yep. And um, You want to be happy, ethical meat though, don't you? Yes. I, I want grass-fed, organic, ethical... Happy meat. Happy meat. I mm. want healthy raised meat mm. for me, for my body, because that's my choice. Yeah. So I've chosen the alpaca meat. Yeah, that's good. And uh, these are very, very happy animals. They're very happy. I like to spend time with them before mm -hmm. they get slaughtered. Are they organic though? Yeah. They're organic. They're yeah. grass-fed, organic. Okay. I like to make sure that they're happy, that they're calm. I provide a nice environment for them. Yeah, that's very important. Happy meat. So, so this is where I'll be getting my protein from now. And thanks to these alpacas, I will be able to go through with my dirty bulk and hopefully make the rugby team. Uh, hopefully gain that 40 kilos yeah. you desperately need to gain. I need to gain those 40 kilos. I need to make the cut. You need to make the cut. So we'll get you on the way shakes as well. Yeah, on the way shakes and in these. Get rid of that skinny vegan body. These lovely organic alpacas. Yeah, get rid of that skinny yeah. vegan body. All right, so what are you gonna? Can we, I'm not sure if we can actually film this. Hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, so I've got um, smart here. Oh yeah. And, um, I, I'm not sure that this will be appropriate for YouTube. We, we might have to like do a so cut. I, I think we'll have to cut the camera soon, so I can get my happy ethical meat mm -hmm. going on. I reckon that's a good and, idea. And um, I will do. Go with that one there. Sorry to interrupt you, but that, oh, that the white one. The white one. I can go with that one oh, first. Okay. He looks really happy. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll have to, we'll have to cut the, uh, okay, we'll just cut this now, we'll just cut this now. Just cutting it. Catch him, catch him. 